All right. In this problem in number 15, we're going to be determining the y prime of x is equal to 1 if y is equal to the quantity 2 minus x times the square root of x squared plus 8. Okay. So, in order to do this, okay, we first need to determine y prime. Then, from, once we determine y prime, we plug in x is equal to 1, and then we evaluate the derivative at x is equal to 1. So the first thing we need to do is determine what the derivative is. So I'm going to rewrite this so that we can do this. Now, as you notice, we have two different parts right here. This is like saying that we are taking the derivative of f of x times g of x. So we're going to have to use by parts here. So we're going to have to first, again, to find y prime, you're going to have to take the der uh, keep the first, take the derivative of the second, add it to keeping the second, taking the derivative of the first. Okay. So the first thing we need to do in this one is simplify it to find y prime. So obviously we'll keep the 2 minus x the same and change the square root of x squared or the square root, sorry, of x squared plus 8 into x squared plus 8 raised to the 1 half. Okay. Now this will make it easier to take the derivative of. So for y prime, we now need to take the derivative of, or keep the first, sorry, take the derivative of the second. So keep the first part, 2 minus x, take the derivative of the second part, which is going to be dropping the, the exponent. So we get one half, keeping the inside the same, and again, this is going to be derivative by parts because we have a function inside of a function. Subtract one from here, so we end up getting negative one half, then taking the derivative of the inside. So the inside right here, the derivative of the inside is simply just 2x. Now to that, we're going to be adding, okay, keep the first part, or the second part the same, and times the derivative of the first part, which in this case is just negative 1. Okay, so now what we're going to do is kind of clean this mess up a little bit. We have y prime is equal to, well, we can multiply this and this together, and we will end up getting, on my, in my numerator, we'll end up getting, this will cancel with this, giving us x times 2 minus x, this here times this times this, all my numerator, because this is going to be dropping to my denominator, and we will have x squared plus 8 to the 1 half. Okay, and then my second portion here is simply going to be plus uh, negative 1 times x squared plus 8 all over one half. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do after this, kind of clean it up even more now. We'll move this up slightly. Clean this up even more. We have y prime is equal to x times 2 minus x all over the square root, we'll say, we'll clean it up all the way, of x squared plus 8 plus, well, negative square root of x squared plus 8 all over 1. Okay. Now, in order to clean this up even more before we end up plugging our x, uh, x is equal to 1 in, uh, we need to find a common denominator, make this one fraction. So in this particular case, our common denominator is going to be our square root of x squared plus 8. So that means we're going to have to multiply this both top and bottom by the square root of x squared plus 8. And when we multiply those two together there, we get y prime is going to equal x times 2 minus x all over, okay, the both of them are going to be over the x squared plus 8 now. And then we multiply this and this together, we get, well, plus a negative, which is the same thing as minus, 
but for right now we'll write it as this and we get a x squared plus 8. Okay. Now let's clean it up even more and we end up getting x times 2 minus x minus x squared plus 8 all over the square root of x squared plus 8. Now we're going to clean it up even more. We'll move it up slightly more to clean this up. Okay, so our y prime now, we're going to distribute here and distribute here and collect like terms to get our final simplified derivative and then plug x is equal to 1 in. So we distribute here and we get x squared, or sorry, we distribute here, we get 2x. Distribute here, we get minus x squared. Distribute here, we get negative x squared. And distribute here, we get minus 8. Okay, so that is all over the square root of x squared plus 8. Now we're going to continue simplifying this. We'll move it up even more now. Continue simplified. Okay, so now we collect like terms and we get y prime is equal to, well, we get negative 2x squared plus 2x minus 8 all over the square root of x squared plus 8. Well, that's about as simplified as we are going to get. So we might as well now take our x is equal to 1 from our original part. We'll take x is equal to 1 now and plug it into our bottom part here. Okay, plug it right into this bottom part right here. Okay, so now we have y prime is equal to, well, start plugging everything in, negative 2 times 1 squared uh, plus 2 times 1 minus 8 all over the square root of 1 squared plus 8. Okay, so now we'll finish this off, move it up a little bit more, finish this off. So y prime is going to be equal to, well, 1 squared is just 1, so, and then 2, negative 2 times 1 is just simply negative 2. 2 times 1 is just simply 2, and we have the minus 8 from above. Then we take the square root of, well, 1 squared is 1, 1 plus 8 is 9, so we end up getting, well, sum up all these up here, we end up getting negative 8, and then the square root of 9 is simply 3. So our final answer to this problem is when y prime, find y prime when x is equal to 1 of the original function, we end up getting 8 thirds as our answer. Okay? And that is how we do problem number 15.